Hey guys and girls, it's Mark and I'm Truth Seeker. And uh, I'm back a ways in Soul 126. Um, I had this one uh, on a list of uh, you know, a couple that I want to do. And uh, there's just some really, uh, to me, looks exotic, you know, carvings and uh, statues and carved heads and, you know, a bunch of different artifacts and just some really, uh, really neat stuff that I love to share. And, uh, you know, hopefully get you excited to the point where you'll uh, take the link down in the description below and, uh, you know, go check out the picture yourself, you know, put it in a photo editor, you know, and, you know, zoom in, and, you know, see what you could find. Because uh, usually these pictures, uh, the guys and girls that do this stuff, we're just basically touching the tip of the iceberg. I mean, there's, you know thousands of artifacts that we haven't found so there's plenty of stuff out there for everybody to do um, just give me I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna start off I just want to thank everybody too I'm almost up to a million views in less than a year and if I ever I never thought I would be here even close to that um, you know almost 2,500 su subs uh, I'm just uh, overwhelmed it's amazing and I couldn't do it without you guys and girls um, it's just uh, just touches me and uh, also I haven't done this in a while I usually try to do it every you know 30 videos I just want to give uh, you guys and girls that are watching check out some of these guys I, I'm sure you've heard of will from what's up in the sky 37 uh, Chris over at Mars Anomalies, uh, just great work. He just uh, he just put out this video uh, yesterday, and I've watched it probably like three times already. Um, I his opportunity looking down at an abandoned city. I I just think it's great. Um, the what the techniques that he has to, uh, I mean, he's just really good at what he does, and it's just. The, the way he describes it and shows you it's just really uh, just really good work that's all you could say um, and then you got Will from What's Up in the Sky he did a video yesterday too that I've watched a couple of times and uh, there's this piece here it's just great you gotta check it out um, just just trust me um, and then you got guys like Mars Unmasked you know another uh, another really great what can you say? Yeah, just just another great researcher, and uh, you know, really great at what he does. And then we got the Olympus guy. He's been doing this for a long time. Um, Dabu Seven, you know, he's a lot of news. You know, BP Earth Watch, another one with news. If you like fireworks, check out Goonies. Uh, third phase of the moon. You know, a lot of people hate him. A lot of people love him. Uh, they put a lot of stuff out there. You know, it's not for everybody. You know, not all the stuff is real, and uh, they even admit that too. So, uh, and Amazon KC, um, you know, just another great researcher. I hope um, that she continues making videos. I love watching her videos. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the picture at hand okay back here now this is the picture we're soul 126 as always I'll give you the link down in the description and uh, you know I always do official NASA pictures okay let's get started and you see a lot of neat stuff look at these very strange shapes and then you can see that they put these lines in here which make it hard for us to decipher what we're looking at but what we must all agree upon is look at these rocks I took uh, a brush in uh, Photoshop and I click uh, on desaturate and I just go over it and it desaturates that it just basically makes it black and white and uh, you could just see I mean look at these things look at the detail in it you come 
down to stuff like this here. I mean, you could see the way it's faded into the background. Like, uh, there's another layer that's faded on top of this. And, uh, you know, it just really makes, uh, makes it hard. Very hard. I mean, look at this stuff here. See this little area here it missed? Look at these holes, these honeycomb. Those are there. There's holes and stuff carved all over the place in this picture. Look at this piece. To me, this looks like maybe a tool or something that was just strewn about. Now, obviously, we're in a crater. Now, NASA has admitted that there's. They landed here because there was lakes and, you know, rivers and, you know. They've already admitted that, that there was uh, a low salinity river, um, ocean, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, in this area. That's why they landed here. Look at these pieces. Some type of opening, you can see the shadow in between there. So... You know, if this was a crater, obviously, you know, an asteroid, you know, a rock from outer space hit it. Now, if there was buildings, say there was a museum, you know, with all these artifacts, or say it was like Egypt, and an asteroid hit it, I mean, this stuff would be strewn in every direction. You'd find pieces... You know, so if this was a tool, you know, that could have came from 50 miles away. Who knows, you know. So when we look at this and we see stuff destroyed, or maybe not in its right place, it kind of makes sense, you know, if this is a crater. If, you know, you're going on what NASA's telling us. Here's another piece that I uh, desaturated. I mean, this looks like a really cool statue. You could see the eyes, you could see the contours of the face, the nose area, you could see the ridge of the head. I mean, just look at that. What would be the chances of a rock being weathered down by water and sand to do this? Like this ridge here, I could see, you know, water and erosion doing that. Erosion doing this, I'm not stupid. All right, and then on to this area here. Look at this, look at this cool stuff. This really, I, you know, I, like I said, I took a brush and I just, uh, this came over here and just desaturated this area to highlight it and show you it's basically just black and white now um, you know take some of this green and these weird colors out of it so you can more like this here see how this looks like a pipe coming out of the ground some type of connector but look at this thing it's got one two three like uh, car carved uh, ridges or balls in it it looks like it's got a little spout, and it actually looks like something's coming out of this spout. Let's go closer. You see what I mean? This is what caught my attention. See how this is coming out? Is there a liquid? Some type of liquid? Uh, you know, coming out of that? Who knows? It sure does look like something's coming out of it. I mean, this whole area here looks very, just looks strange. I mean, it just doesn't uh, match everything else in the area. Another cool feature I wanted to show you is this area here. Look at this. Actually looks like a little pair. It actually looks like a little pair of glasses. And look at that. Between it. Now, did they come in and put this black in here? Who knows? Look what's next to it. it. Looks like another little statue. See, 
being held up by a piece. Almost looks like a, like the head of a cobra or something. Look at that. I really thought that was neat. I mean, I you just don't see rocks. Rocks in nature doing that. It just doesn't, uh, this doesn't happen. I just, I don't see it. Maybe you do, I don't. Doesn't, rocks don't look like that around my house. Another neat area is over here, all the way to the left. Look at these circles on the bottom here. Look at these. And then all of this is blurred up here, but. Here looks, this looks like maybe like a statue just laid right on its side. I mean, I believe a lot of these are grave markers. Another area that caught my interest is here. Again, look at these circles, one on top of each other. And here we come upon this area that I, I just thought was really cool to show you. This is heavily heavily blurred. I desaturated this whole area. Uh, from what I could see, it looks like a thin wall standing up on its own. Um, here's where the blur box is. This is where this blur box is and ends. Look at this. I've actually seen statue heads that look like this. I just can't remember what country or where where they were found. Um, I think it had something to do with the Hawaiian culture. Um, Indonesia, Indonesian culture, so I'm not sure. Um, you know, I usually don't like putting names, uh, you know, on this kind of stuff and referring it to certain countries or but uh, that just really stands out because it's, uh, it's heavily blurred. And you can see it looks like there's carvings in this. Could be something carved on the end here. There's a neat little, I don't know, some type of uh, tool or something, I'm not sure. But I just thought that this was really neat. It just stood out. Another object is that they heavily blurred. Looks, looks like it's standing straight up near this pile of rocks. And what looks to be is a little head. That head almost resembles with a little piece on the top here of uh, a little alien sculpture that I, I, I think I called it alien or uh, sculpture um, found on Mars. The head almost looks the same as that. See, I'm against this pile of rocks here and standing straight up. to be a little shadow back here. I'm not sure if it's from this, which angle the shadow. It's hard to tell with all the blurring. Another object that I found to be interesting. It looks like an eye. It would be the mouth. I mean, they definitely see the mouth. 
how it comes up. That would be the eyes, the nose area, and then the mouth. Again, this is really the main, uh, the main artifact. This is why I started doing this picture and made a note to do a video on it. Uh, I just find this uh, you know, as a Martian anomaly hunter, I find this very, uh, very suspect. Am I right all the time? No. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's not a big deal. Um, you know, out of, out of the thousands of anomalies that I found, only one of them has to be real. And it changes everything. So, you know, everything that I show you, hey, you know, a lot of it could be just, you know, our eyes playing tricks on us. But like I said, just one, just one has to be real. And, uh, you know, I think many of us have found that one. But uh, when you see stuff like this, it really uh, makes you question what's going on out there. You know, and of course, you know, will, as a society, unless, you know, NASA or the government comes out and openly admits, which would be hard for them to do, um, you know, we will really never know the, the full truth, but, uh, you know, guys and girls like me that do this, you know, uh, Martian artifact hunters, anomaly hunters, and uh, bring this stuff to the forefront, we're trying to show you a piece of the truth. And what we need you to do is to like, subscribe, share, you know, do all those good things, you know. When you're not doing nothing, go through our videos. And, uh, you know, share them with your friends and family and stuff. It's nothing to be ashamed of. That's what our government, NASA, JPL, they want us to be ashamed. You know, there's a stigma to aliens, UFO, anomalies. You know, you're crazy if you do this stuff. Or you, you're nuts if you uh, believe or buy into any of this. And, uh, you know, that's what they want you to believe. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for all your support. I'm out.